All right, in this video, we're going to take our image and temporarily place it into Illustrator to add some um, vector lines to it. Now, what I want to do is get probably the original here coming in like this, so I have some more lines than I, I probably need. And what I want to do is just take this and save it as JPEG temporarily. So I'm going to do save as and um, we're going to call this one I. I'm going to change it to a JPEG and there we go. So now I have it saved as a JPEG. Now that image is about 15 inches across so we're going to say file new and we're going to make it about 15 inches by about eight and a half inches and we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now we will place, file place, and we'll go into our creative portrait and we'll get that JPEG we just created and place it in here. Now it's not quite exactly the, the right size, but it'll work. It's, it's about the right size. And now we'll go to our uh, layers panel and we'll just uh, do, mine's not showing up very well, so we'll do you know, layer and we're going to lock this layer and create a new layer above it. And this layer above it, this is what we're going to um, draw our lines on. All right. Now, as far as the lines go, you could take a brush and just do some painting, painting with it, and it's going to look okay. But I want to stress that it's probably best to use something like the CK hairbrush. So um, this one I got somewhere on DeviantArt, and if I go up here and we'll load it open brush library other library and this one's in my resources and it is CK hairbrush and it basically it's skinny fat skinny so it's a nice little brush now it's a little big so when I draw with it it's a little big I want to make it a little smaller um, and it's not actually using it yet so yeah make sure it comes up here We'll go ahead and delete that one I made. So you can see when we draw with it, it's not quite the right size here. Come on. There we go. Yeah. So you can see it's a little too thick. All right. So we're just going to delete those. And I'm going to make it be a smaller size, 0.5 point. And we'll go to our brush. Now it's important not to resize your image as you're doing this. Um, and so we're going to draw right on top of this. And I'm probably going to do it um, in a color that's similar. So let's see. Let's go to this one here and we'll edit it. Let's see here. Make it a little brighter. There we go. And let's see how that looks. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little too thick on those. It wants to default to a one point size. So uh, if you go in and, and change it down, it'll make it smaller. And we're going to have some darker colors. Let's see. Just some little lines coming in through here. And let's see. just to kind of help with the Ill illustration of it. And I'm going to get that. So you can kind of see some extra lines coming through here. They can be as, as silly as you want. You can add all sorts of things into it. Um, I wanted to maybe do some work over here in his eyes here. And maybe even some eyelashes. He's got some ridiculous eyelashes. Very long. Just some to augment some of this. Uh, definitely want to work on his uh, shoulder here, kind of giving some lines for that. So we'll uh, go into some crazier color here and increase our size here. And 
I'm just kind of switching up the colors so it's got the right look. Over here, same thing. Are we going to go with a darker color over here? Let's see. Uh, I don't like that. Let's do that one again. The neat thing is, is if you don't like it, remember this is Illustrator, so you can just go to your white tool, white direct selection tool, and move it how you do like it. Um, all right, so we can actually get this exactly how we want it to be. There we go. And so just you know, adding some lines to it here and there. Um, if you turn off the background layer, you can kind of see what we've done. Not a whole lot. We can uh, definitely do some sections. If you wanted to, you could also add in some patterns here. If you wanted to create some patterns outside the character, you could. Uh, this would be a good time to do it. In any case, when you're done, we're going to turn off this um, back layer here and take our lines layer here and we need to select everything in it. And we're going to go ahead and do an object expand appearance. And what that does is that just gives us the opportunity to have shapes rather than lines. Okay. Now, you can just take this entire thing here as you have it. I'm going to do a Control A. And because this is locked, it's not selecting my background. And I can copy that, Control C, go over to Photoshop and do a Control V. Now it's going to ask me what I want to do it as. I'm going to go and tell it to do a smart object and click OK. And then because I never resized anything, it should end up being the exact size I need. Okay. And it's doing mine at the bottom, so I'm going to drag it all the way up to the top here. All right. And there it is on top. So you can see more of those lines coming in. And this is definitely where you can you know, add more or less, have, have a whole bunch, have a, just a few, but add in some new lines to make it work. Uh, I definitely need to move mine up just a little bit because this eye is not lining up. So let's use my arrows on the keyboard to just nudge it gently into position here. There we go. Right about there. All right. Let's zoom out. See how we're doing. Uh, I think the last thing I'd probably want to do is maybe add a vignette to my background. So we'll go ahead and expand that out. And we'll just make, um, let's make a new layer. And we're going to call it vignette. And uh, I don't know, I want my vignette to kind of be colored. So I'm going to get a dark color here. And I'm going to get just a super soft super round low opacity brush and just kind of paint in the corners like so and around this side as well just trying to make that happen um, something else you could do uh, just to have a little more fun with it is you could do some blurring on it uh, so Right now the splatters are very much in focus. Um, what I could do, and this is completely optional, is to create a duplicate here of this background. And I'm going to go ahead and merge that group. And what I want to do is just kind of create a uh, little depth of field type you know, tilt shift or something on it. And what I'm going to do is go to my channels and create a new channel. And I'm going to go to my gradient tool and we're going to put it in black and white mode. And let's just see when we do it like so. Uh, let's invert that. So I'll do that again. So let's see. Something like that. Um, no, let's keep it the other way. Let's go like this. So we have black in the middle. Maybe even further out. Yeah, I like that. So black in the middle, fading out. And we'll go back to RGB, go back to our layers, and then we'll just go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur. And what this is going to do is create a blur based upon that alpha channel. So I need to source alpha channel, alpha 1. And we'll make it um, really blurry here. 
And you can see how it changes focus there, and we'll click OK. And this will take a moment to blur in. And now that I have my um, blurry background, you can kind of see how that works. Um, maybe it's a little too much right down here. Not a big deal. I can just mask that off. Um, add a mask. Go to the brush. And gently paint that out of the way. Let's make it black. So you can kind of see how that's just bringing out a little bit of that back in. All right. And let's take a look at how this looks. I think in the end we did a good job. Our picture has mainly what we want. It has the splatters. It's got the illustrative portions. It's hard to believe that it was a picture just a few minutes ago. And you can quickly make this once you get in the hang of it and you collect enough brushes to do so. Something you might want to do, uh, experiment with uh, some blend modes for some of these things like the splatters layer. You could change it to a different blend mode and see how that changes the, uh, the look and feel. Uh, same thing uh, for your illustrator lines. You could change the way it blends as well and you can see how that changes the look. Anyway, have fun with your creative self-portrait and good luck.